dear students welcome back to minds mind tutorials our today's topic is perception of the environment this is a topic which comes under animal behavior also known as ethology and before this topic i have already uploaded this topic in hindi plus english language and uh, if you are new to my channel you can check it on minds mind tutorials perception of the environment in bilingual mode so let's get started in the english uh, language so first of all here are the contents which i have made here so let's see the contents first first is introduction then we will see nerve cells and neurotransmitters then we will be seeing sensation types of sensory receptors types of perception types of perceptions are visual perception hearing olfactory electrical and mechanical then we will be seeing conclusion and then references so perception of the environment and intro so what do you mean by perception is very important here so let's see the definition first so definition is as follows perception is a process by which individuals organize and interpret the sensory impressions in order to give meaning to their environment stephen robbins so so basically what they are saying through the definition is perception is something when there is a organism and to that organism some sort of stimuli is provided and then how that organism is reacting to the stimuli is known as perception so this is a very simplest uh, definition of perception now we will see the meaning of perception so the meaning is perception differ from person to person so for different person perceptions are different each individual perceives same situation differently group perceptions can influence one's perception individuals organize and interpret things based on their past experiences and the important values they consider important so perception can can be based on important values moral values or we can say past experiences now we will see the nature first so what is the nature perception is a unique interpretation of the situation not an exact recording of the situation perception is more complex and much broader than sensation perception is a process that operates constantly between us and reality so perception is between us and reality though perception has been defined in a variety of ways it basically refers to the manner in which person experiences the world now here is a flow chart which is uh, depicting simplified process of perception now what is happening here is first in first column there is perceptual inputs then perceptual throughputs then perceptual outputs perceptual inputs means stimuli provided to an organism or anything which is provided or given to an organism organism's body then after stimuli organism receives select organize and interpret the stimuli after that the organism gives action or we can say the organism gives reaction or reacts to the stimuli so this is a simplest process of perception which is shown in a flow chart here we will see nerve cells and neurotransmitter what are nerve cells if we see the nervous system of every animal it is made up of nerve cells called neurons the, these neurons are specialized for transmitting information to one another each nerve cell has a body containing the nucleus and a number of branching protrusions usually there are many short branches called dendrites and a single long protrusion called the axon the dendrite connect with each other nearby neurons while the axons convey messages over relative by long distances so if we draw a simple diagram here rough diagram here so this this is uh, we can say a cell body of a nerve cell and in between in center there is a nucleus so and it looks like this these are the den these are the dendrites and this is the axon so this is a rough diagram you can easily see it uh, at any site or uh, website so, uh, by searching nerve cell of uh, human also anything now neurotransmitters are chemicals that take a nerve signal across the synaptic gap between a sending neuron and a receiving one and if you don't know uh, about neurotransmitters you can check uh, Uh, at my channel i will provide the links in the description box and the comment section below so you can easily understand this topic known as neurotransmitters now what is sensation sense organs sense the changes in the external envi environment stimuli and send a stream of information along nerves to the brain the brain sorts out the signals and and then makes the body react to them different animals rely on different senses according to their way of life some such as cats have very good eyesight and hearing others such as dogs have a strong sense of smell some animals find out about their surroundings by pressure heat electricity vibrations or even pull of gravity so these type of things happens and 
what is the role of sensory receptors is very important here so we will see it now so role is all animals are equipped with purposeful senses for perception of their surroundings and animal senses are its early warning system so what are sensory receptors for they are kind of early warning system they alert animal to change its surroundings which may signal an opportunity to feed or mate or the need to escape imminent danger so it helps in uh, giving opportunity it helps in escaping it helps in finding the mates and uh, various roles can be played through sensory receptors so now we are seeing types of sensory receptors depending on the source there are three kinds of sensory receptors first are extero receptors now extero receptors include eye ear nose tongue and skin and they are affected by the external stimuli such as light sound smell taste and touch then the second receptors are proprioceptors what do you mean by proprioceptors they are affected by stimuli originating within the body body wall now mind the words here body wall such as excitation from muscles tendons joints etc then we are with interoreceptors the interoreceptors are affected by the stimuli originating within the various visceral organs that are that are that is excitation from internal activities such as digestion excretion circulation etc now depending on the location sensory receptors are so depending on location we are with general receptors these receptors are located on the whole body surface and collect the information such as touch pressure temperature visceral sense movement etc so these receptors are present on the whole body surface then second receptors are special receptors we are seeing on the basis of location so these receptors are related to special sense organs located in a definite portion of the body and collect the specific information such as smell taste sight hearing and balance of the body the organ of special sense include olfactory organ gustatory organ eye and ear now types of perceptions are visual hearing olfactory includes smell and taste electrical mechanical that is in touch visual perception now visual perception is very important as the most widely developed receptor organ in animals is known as photoreceptor which can be included uh, in those organs or uh, receptors which help to see or help in the vision so photoreceptors are something which are helping in vision so visual perception we are seeing the object to be located now the object which which is uh, important to see which we want to see must be self luminous either it should have its own light or it can be made visible only by diffused reflection of sunlight or artificial light so either light is uh, uh, we can say reflecting on it or uh, it it is having its own light uh, we can say it is self luminous now the vision ranges from simple discrimination of light and dark to the formation and resolution of images some organisms are uh, we can say they can only discriminate light and day uh, we can say darkness only they, they can discriminate these sort of things but in some animals like uh, humans there is formation as well as resolution of images found and it is widespread in the animal kingdom and species are gra vary greatly in the type and visual capacity invertebrates eyes are generally designed to detect quick movement so invertebrates eyes can detect quick movements as well now talking of insects insects bear one pair of compound eyes which cover most part of their head both eyes are made of hundreds of mini eyes each of which is fitted with its own tiny lens each eyes has facet which consist lens so insects uh, we can say insects have um, pair of compound eyes and in those compound eyes uh, millions of we can say hundreds of eyes are present which have their tiny lenses and facets are present consisting that those lenses then in squids fish birds they are sensitive to the plane polarization of light flying insects fish and birds are also sensitive to the uv light bennett and cut hill 1994 stated this now vertebrates vertebrates eyes are better at forming images often in color eyes have light sensitive cells called retina uh, there is something wrong here eyes have light sensitive cells called rods rods okay sorry retina possesses rod cells and cone cells rod produces black and white images while cone cells produces colored images nocturnal animals have 
we are here nocturnal animals have only rods in their eyes so i was just uh, wrong at uh, reading the statement first so there are two kinds of cells present in retina first are the rod cells then the second cells are cone cells rod cells are the cells which can only see black and white images while the cone cells as c is coming c and here also color for c so uh, cone cells are the cells which help to see colored images whereas in nocturnal animals there is no need to see the colors at night therefore those animals have only rods in their eyes that is they help in seeing white and uh, black and white images now color vision is important for those animals such as monkeys which need for example to see the brightest and ripest fruit and leaves on tree so um, such uh, animals such as monkeys need color vision therefore they need cone cells in their eyes and uh, why it is important for them to see the color vision because they want to see the brightest and ripest fruits and leaves on the tree so this is important here next the most important senses for birds are sight and sound in birds of prey such as hawks and eagles right by far the most important sense for finding and hunting they prey they need to survive their eyes are exceptionally large and have binocular forward vision so some anim uh, some birds which are um, predatory in nature so these birds always need binocular binocular forward vision and a very strong vision so they can see their prey now if we will see african spotted eagle owl it has two forward facing eyes which give it good stereoscopic 3d vision so these are some important things we saw in visual hearing perception hearing perception is something which is related to hearing auditory mechanism we can say ears and we, uh, auditory perception now the sound results from minute changes in pressure that originate from a vibrating source within a medium such as air or water so sound is originated from a vibrating source then it travels through the medium medium can be air or water and it it is important to note here is sound can only travel in medium now after traveling it is then interpreted through our brain and after that we we can react to the things and animals brain interprets waves of pressure traveling through the medium and detected by the ears as sound the inner ear of a fish consists of a membranous sac enclosed in a chamber on either side of the posterior part of the skull so if we if we see the inner ear of a fish it consists of a membranous sac which is enclosed in a chamber on either side that is on both sides of uh, of the posterior part of the skull these type of ears are present the membranous labyrinth performs two important functions the first function is it is a seat of the sense of hearing and the second function is maintenance of balance so hearing and balance are the two functions if we see the ears of amphibians reptiles and mammals these organisms have eardrum present in them which uh, which is sensitive to tiny changes in pressure the mammals ears Uh, are divided into three parts: outer, middle, and inner ear. Ear have eardrum, three bones, malleus, incus, and stapes, and cochlea. So this is the structure of a mammal's ear. Now we are seeing some vibration sensitive organs other than ears. Limb joints of crickets and many other insects bear special ear. These these are sensitive to vibrations made by their own species. So uh, crickets and many other insect species. Uh, have special ear on their limb joints which help to sense the vibrations made by their own species so it is kind of intra specific thing now if we see blow flies blow flies have receptors in some joints of the antennae called johnson's organ these johnson's organs or these organ can sense movements up to 500 hertz if we see mosquito they also bear the same kind of organ known as johnson's organ Nocturnal moths and lace wings bear two ears on the thorax and each ear is composed of tiny thin tympanic membrane connected to sensory cells ears can pick up the echolocating cells or sound ultrasonic sound of hunting bats and enable a moth to take evasive action uh, so whenever a moth or lace wing senses uh, that uh, their predator that is a bat is producing a echo locating sound ultrasonic sound to locate them to capture them then they just uh, we can say escape from their uh, enemies through 
these special kind of ears now some bats and owls also hunt in complete darkness not by emitting sounds of their own but by seeing but by being extremely sensitive to sound made by their prey so bats and owls can uh, sense uh, tiniest of sounds made by their prey barn owl feather have tiny uh, edges barn owl is a nocturnal hunter it can locate and capture a freely moving mouse in total darkness barn owl can detect the sound made by mouse resulting through leaves or even chewing pain 1971 stated this function of smell and taste olfactory chemo receptors means recognition of chemicals and comparative perception of its concentration many species communicate with chemical messengers called pheromones small volatile molecules that are secreted in the exocrine gland of those species and released into the environment animals use pheromone to communicate danger ownership of territory and advertisement for advertisement for mating so uh, in some animals they perceive the environment through chemical uh, chemicals such as pheromones so chemical perception uh, or we can say audit uh, olfactory perception is something which is related to pheromones also insects are extremely good at detecting and producing minute traces of certain chemicals especially these sort of chemicals known as pheromones are produced by insects and i have already uploaded the video for pheromones you can check uh, at minds mind tutorials pheromones social insects like ants termites use such chemicals as a means of communicating simple messages so they they just uh, release these pheromones and uh, for communication also communication purpose also they use these pheromones female silk worm moth bears a pair of sac on the abdomen and emits a sex pheromone bombi call male moth find female moth of its own species with the help of this scent and mate her successfully so the uh, female silk moth produces a pheromone known as bombi call silk worm moth has an olfactory network it can smell through its antennae so through antennae it is smelling the uh, pheromone we can say and in most fishes they are able to detect odor with the help of a pair of olfactory lobes connected to the brain by olfactory nerves in snakes and lizards they taste the air with their forked tongue nose tongue and other smelling organs are linked with sensitive cells which analyze huge range of chemicals so snakes and lizards just taste the air male garter snakes can follow chemical trails left by female and can even determine the direction in which the female was going for most of these snakes the sense of smell is the most important and they depend mostly on their tongue to pick up the scent particles from the air and transfer the smell to the jacobson's organ present in the roof of the mouth that analyzes odors carried to it by the tongue so snakes just smell the air taste the air especially we can say taste the air then there are jacobson jacobson's organ which uh, are present in the roof of the mouth and these organs analyze the odor carried it carried to it by the tongue most birds live just using two senses sight and hearing but king vultures also depend on smell so uh, king vultures can smell their prey from even top of the uh, we can say mountains also they can see their animals uh, they can see their prey uh, running or uh, eating or making any movements there now mammals are able to recognize sour bitter salt and sweet by their taste receptors present on tongue which are known as papillae these remain in close contact with the sensory nerve uh, fibers which are fixed taste cells are regularly replaced by new cells and taste cells are regularly replaced so sometimes we can see uh, uh, in our old days we uh, used to like something and in uh, in our present days we are not liking something these are, these are due to the replacement of the taste cells house mice have developed complex communication networks based entirely on smell hurst 1989 stated this without even encountering each other directly mice know the sex and also the social status of other just from the scent left behind in their urine so these sort of things can can also happen dogs and wolves use chemical secretions to mark their territory among some animals an ovulating female releases pheromones as a part of their vaginal secretion these chemical odor are detected by males they increase sexual interest now we are seeing electrical perception the uh, we can say a number of species of fish duck billed platypus and many more animals make use of electrical sensitivity to detect their prey in electrical electric fishes electric organs 
consisting of columns of electroplexus containing up to 400 have developed from G degeneration of muscles. In the electric eel uh, with the length up to 2.1 meter, the guts are filled with almost entirely by a jelly like electroplexus. When stimulated by nerve impulses from the brains, all the plexus are discharged in series simultaneously. So in electric eels, uh, electroplexus are present. So we are seeing electrical perception basically. In torpedoes, one of the muscles which normally move the gills has been adapted for the perception of electric field. So they can sense, sense the electric field nearby. An electric fish commonly known as stargazer has its electric organ developed from the eye muscle. The hind end of the fish gymnarchus nilaticus uh, and particularly the finger like tail are known to contain, contain tissue corresponding to an electric organ. In addition to the lateral line system, shark have electroreceptors called ampulla of Lorenzini on their heads that may also be used to, to locate prey. Electroreception also help in communication, especially in recognition of potential mate. In duck build platypus, now in duck build platypus, they are able to detect the electric fields generated by muscle activity in animals such as uh, crayfish and shrimps on which they feed. They have electroreceptors on their bill on their bill that enable them to detect their prey so uh, as you can see the statements are very easier that's why i'm not explaining each and every uh, statement here and if you have all if you even get a doubt then you can ask in the comment section below lastly the last perception of our topic uh, in a, is mechanical perception also known as touch perception receptors for perception of touch are usually located on the whole body but in some cases it is localized many sense organs detect movement and pressure which includes touch sound and vibrations most part of the grasshopper's body is sensitive to touch its body also has cells that detect vibrations of the ground and these warn it to hop out of the way when other animals approaches. Now there are some animals which get information by patterns of surface vibrations. For example, male water spiders send out ripples of certain frequency and receptive female respond by moving toward the source. On getting female, the male stops sending courtship ripples. Wilcox 1972 stated this. Cannibalistic female spiders are given information by male spiders through vibrating thread of web in a special manner communi communicating that I am your lover not the prey. So these sort of things are also very interesting to know in mech uh, mechanical perception. Next thing is if we see spiders, spiders attack a tuning fork touching their web. This is because the vibrations of the tuning fork resemble the vibration produced by prey caught in the web and struggling to get free. Seeing fish Fish also possesses, uh, possesses a lateral line system. It is composed of a large number of sense organs called neuromast organ. Each consists of group of sensory cells with hair-like projections. Lateral line system is most developed in fish that lives in dark caves or deep ocean. So lateral line system is mostly developed in fishes which are living in dark caves or their habitat, habitat are in the deep oceans. Where there is no light, blind fish can keep up with the rest of the school but fish without a functioning let, uh, improper functioning of lateral line system tend to crash into each other so if there is a blind fish it is uh, it is not very difficult for that fish to survive but if there is a fish which has a damaged or non-functioning kind of lateral line system then those kind of fishes are more like likely to crash into each other collide into each other and cannot survive this was given by Patridge and Pitcher in 1980 so if we see snakes, snakes are much more sensitive to the vibrations through lower jaw traveling through the grounds. Pigeons are sensitive to atmospheric pressure changes. This sensory ability may provide the pigeon with an accurate physiological altimeter. Then if we see long facial whiskers found uh, on the snout of many mammals from cats to dungongs are very sensitive touch receptors. They can be so sensitive that they will even respond to the currents in the air. Now what is whiskers if you see for example we are drawing a cat here um, you see moustaches kind of things here. So these moustaches kind of things are known as whiskers and these whiskers are very sensitive to the uh, to the even smaller currents of the air. Now we will see the conclusion.
सो सेंसरी प्रोसेस एंड परसेप्शन इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ एनिमल टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू चेंजेस इन द एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट डिपेंड्स अपॉन सेंसरी प्रोसेस डेजिग्नेट डिजाइन टू डिटेक्ट सच चेंजेस मेनी रिसेप्टर्स आर लाइक एक्सटेरो रिसेप्टर्स आई ईयर नोज एक्सेट्रा इंटेरो रिसेप्टर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड परसेप्शन परसेप्शन इज ऑफ मेनी काइंड ईच काइंड ऑफ परसेप्शन पजेस इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस इन एवरी ऑर्गेनिज्म so that was all about the perception of the environment which we saw under the subject animal behavior ethology we have already uploaded these uh, this topic in bilingual mode so you can, you can also check it out in the description box and in the uh, we can say comment section below and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet don't forget to like share and subscribe and happy learning